Hey YouTube, what's up? Got another uh, reaction video here for you. They just released today the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gameplay reveal trailer. So I'm going to sit here and watch that with y'all. And I'm going to go over uh, some of the things that I see and don't see within the uh, trailer here. And uh, maybe leave my opinion on what's going on here and how I feel about it. And whether or not I think that this title is going to actually bring something new and exciting to the table for the Call of Duty franchise. And if it's not, here we go. So we got an oil rig. This does look really good visually. This could be a trap. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. That was a pretty cool camera angle. Grapple hook guns? What? That's... Like, imagine that in a war zone setting. Wow, grapple guns. That's nuts. Nice and quiet. Okay. Here we go. So we got slow movement, tactical, but I mean, that seems like this is pretty close to that one um, raid mission in the first Modern Warfare current, the first current. Nice. Nice burst put him down. That was a little bit of realism. Oh, nice. Room clear. Coming out. So this looks like it's probably like a Fennec or something, and that looked and sounded really good. Like, that felt... That felt good. I like that. Real fast, rapid, but the three burst just puts them down like that's... That's really cool for like a realism feel. I like the emphasis on team movement, the stealth tactical team movement here. I don't know if this is completely necessary. I haven't seen anything yet that would force you into doing it this way. Other than, like, that's the way the game wants you to play it, but I feel like you could just as easily, like, run through it. Oh, he took a he took a bow to the head. Flashbang. Run in. See, that guy would have been picked up. That was a little bit of unrealism. That guy would have been picked up by the first person through the door. But it's a game. We don't need to get all into that. That was all over the place at range. So, this shows that this submachine gun, this Fennec, not going to be real good off the off the rip at a distance. Also, see here he switches to the AR VLK sight coming back. Look at that. We like the VLK sight here. Oh, shit. Should be a mad dash to get there now. What are we doing? Why are we sitting here waiting? Let's see, he came out of... He came... We went through all this effort to put... To make sure we pushed the Vanguard. You can slide while, while mounted. And it doesn't seem like they brought it over in this game here. That bothers me. I do like this TTK that they're showing off here. That is that is a real nice added touch. Oh boy. Clear. Nice. Yeah, like let's go, bro. Get through there. Move like you have a sense of purpose. Why aren't you looking up? Come on, look up. So the missiles... Now they're going to disarm it. So I see we did this uh, demo on a PS5. Where are the controls? On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. 
Oh no. You have your orders, son. Stop that launch. Now we gotta chase down the ship. So something I'm not seeing, there was several points in there where a lean feature. Lean? Lean? Come on, Call of Duty. You're not going to give us a lean feature in a, a, a game that you want us to use and, and view as a tactical game, a tactical shooter. Dude, there's several indie games I could name right now off the top of my head that give you this lean feature. Tarkov, World War III, uh, Crows. I mean, I, I think what's it, Gra uh, Ground Branch and Ready or Not, uh, Insurgency, I believe they have the lean feature. I was upset by Battlefield not having a lean feature. I understood that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 didn't have it because the leaning stuff was kind of really just starting to take its foothold in the gaming space. But I feel like we're beyond all that now. I feel like there shouldn't be an FPS that people want to push as tactical uh, in any way. It shouldn't. There should be no reason that it doesn't have a lean. Let me know in the comments. Uh, that you would have never done that. You'd have never risked your people uh, to just board the ship. You'd have, you'd have gotten up beside it or something, and you would have shown a little bit more concern. Like this would have been great to have a lean feature on. He could have just peeked instead of having to move his whole body around. This does look a lot of fun, though. Like, this dynamic changing. It's a quality, okay. Nope, yeah. Yeah, dude, you shot way sooner than that. How did you get that guy? You didn't shoot that guy. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, he shouldn't have had to attach to that corner to lean. He should have been able to just hit a button and lean. Leaning in these games is so underrated. I think people just miss and a whole aspect of the game entirely. Get that guy. You would no, don't switch. Just pick him up. Whoever was playing this didn't didn't play the game very well. Look up. Come on, man, look up the steps. I want to see the people up here. Controls are internal. C4, you're going to stand two feet away from it? Oh. Oh, and then we got the reveal. Yeah, we got this again. It does look really good, people. Yeah, there's a... It, it looks really good. It really does. I, I think that um, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be the new maps, the the shifting of maps and whatnot. I hope that means dynamic, like I said in my uh, the campaign reveal trailer that I looked that I did. Um, I hope that means that there's dynamic maps, which means like you you throw a grenade into a house and a couple of the walls are gonna be missing by the time you get in there because you know that's just I, I think that's better that way. I mean, obviously the graphics look great. It's a huge AAA title, so it's gonna have good graphics. That's just a given. I don't judge this game by that though, but putting it out there for those of you who do like to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, 
So the graphics look great. The the movement was really slow paced, very tactical. Um, I th- I think the person who was playing was not a very good player to begin with because they they didn't they switched at wrong times. They didn't pick up the closest threat to them. Um, yeah, there were there were things, but that's that's me critiquing the player, not the game. The game, though, I, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't show off a leaning feature to peek around cover other than to be able to, like, walk up and mount to it. Um, I feel like that takes away from the game because now you're stuck at that point, and if somebody comes up on this side, you have to release and then turn, and that just puts you at a serious disadvantage to whomever's coming up to the other side of you. I feel like if you could stand back from the wall and lean like this, tag your shots and come back and turn. It's just a whole world of difference in the way you play a game when you can do it that way. It looks very, very cinematic like Call of Duty tends to do. There's a lot of like the, the driving the boat up on the ramp and rolling it over. You wouldn't do that in a real life situation. I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you that, but, uh, it was it was it was good for this for the shot for the for the scene that was going on you know the urgency was there trying to get up on there so I mean the acting seemed like it was kind of on point um, the the story seems like it's going to be pretty intriguing it looks like we're probably trying to track down a terrorists group uh, or sect that uh, is trying to launch a nuke or some other large missile uh, at a target so. That'll be kind of fun because it'll it'll feel like you're racing against the clock as far as the campaign goes. So far, Modern Warfare 2 looks like it's going to be overall a W for me, especially for the campaign and uh, possibly the multiplayer stuff. Still no uh, still no illusions or um, leaks as to what's going on with Warzone 2 or any type of connection between Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. It's a given there's going to be a connection because Warzone 2 is going to be an all-new game. This is an all-new game on an all-new engine. They've already said Warzone 2 is going to be on the new engine. So, yes, there's. it's probably a given that there's going to be some correlation between the two. And as far as I can tell, a lot of the main leakers say the DMZ mode is going to be there. There was one major leaker who says it's probably not going to be there. So we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. We'll, we'll have to see what they do Um do and say over the next couple of months before release and see if they tease anything on that one. So if you like this video, if you got something from it, make sure you leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and make sure you keep an eye out for any more future videos on my channel related to call of duty and, or anything else, uh, FPS related. I say FPS, but I also do like ghost recon and, and other things. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep an eye out on that and, We'll see you in the next one. So till then, you get one of these. Till Valhalla, Skull, and stay thirsty.